Hello and welcome to History 441. I'm your professor Brad Cagle and I'm going to be shepherding you through this adventure into English and British history. So start by going over the syllabus. Um, these syllabus have become very uniform over the years in so far as the um, things that were required to include, but I point your attention specifically uh, to the sections on um, grading and evaluation. It's usually what students are most interested in. Uh, and in this class, uh, our grades are going to come from your participation on the various forms of conferences on Flipgrid and uh, regular Canvas discussions on weekly quizzes and on uh, your exams and a writing assignment. I'll have more information to say on the writing assignment here uh, shortly. Uh, so first of all, you know, if you haven't done so already, introduce yourselves on the conference discussions on both Flipgrid and on Canvas. And the Flipgrid um, videos are meant to be fun. They're meant to be interactive so you can respond to your colleagues' videos uh, as well. You know, it's to add a face and personality and, and that to an otherwise sort of static online environment. So um, the other thing that I need to warn you about in some ways in this class is that uh, we work weekly by weekly modules. So in general we read one chapter a week in the textbook and we discuss a lot of the material from that chapter. This first um, module will be on the Glorious Revolution. So we'll talk a little bit about England and the British Isles in the 17th century. I'll try to give you some of that context um, of this archipelago, this chain of islands. Of course, Britain is the largest island. Ireland um, to the west is smaller than England, but it has some geographical advantages as well. It's farther from the continent, so it tends to be less um, interfered with by outside forces, although you know <laughs> the English and Welsh and the Vikings certainly uh, invaded Ireland in previous centuries, you know, before the 17th century. Uh, so those are, um, you know, that's just the briefest of, of introductions to sort of the geography of this of this region. Uh, the other thing to realize is that, uh, as I say on the syllabus, I teach the course as a history of the British Isles. Uh, you know, the the title of the textbook is in fact. You know, a new history of Britain. These four kingdoms that called these two major islands, Ireland and Britain, home for hundreds of years. Um, those kingdoms, of course, are England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. So each one has a distinct language, culture, music, um, and then there also is the emphasis that we'll place in the class on empire. Because England will first be an imperial force in its own backyard in the British Isles. And then it will have relationships with regions all around the globe. So in effect we'll be studying not just British history but some world history as well. We'll see uh, England's involvement by the 18th century in the uh, slave trade. We'll be looking at that in, in module two of your uh, course book, um, of the course rather. Um, and in the 19th century, of course, England even enlarged its empire during that period that we know as the new imperialism. And then, of course, in the 20th century, England was involved in World Wars One and Two and also in the 1950s and 60s in decolonization. Again, England's empire becomes important to the British Isles. Uh, so we'll end by talking at the end of the class about 
England in the 21st century, England today, as it's become a more cosmopolitan place, a place that is fractured in some ways similarly to the U.S. Um, with um, this vote in 2016 to leave the European Union, um, how that mirrored in some ways you know, the election, the election of, of um, Donald Trump in 2016, uh, but it was also distinct as well from U.S. history. So those are just some of the things that we'll be studying this semester. I look forward to sharing my expertise with you. I'll have much more to say on all of these top topics as the course unfolds. Pause video recording button to activate. Stop taking.